lots of discussion around microplastics, mm -hmm. right? Tell me what your impression is of the effect of any or all of the above on fertility. I also think there's a lot of smoke there and there needs to be, it needs to be sorted out. 60 to 80,000 chemicals that are being used that aren't really tested at all. There are windows of susceptibility in men, unlike maybe with women whose eggs are constantly exposed to toxins. And one of those windows is birth and early development, the first 12 weeks of life. Puberty is a window of susceptibility when things turn on. Exposures in those moments are probably going to matter the most to men. And what is your advice to a guy? He says, hey, should I stop drinking Starbucks coffees in those plastic cups with the plastic lids? And should I get a reverse osmosis filter in the house? Like, where are you telling him to draw that line? I'm not great at that because the stress level goes up so much. And I think the stress counterback balances any amount of microplastics you save. You double the stress in a man and testosterone level will fall. Yeah. And then the sperm production falls for a whole different reason. Stress is the sympathetic nervous system. It's fight or flight. You're running from a woolly mammoth. It doesn't know what you're running from. It doesn't know whether it's sleep or travel or financial or emotional. And when you're on, do you want testosterone? No, you want cortisol. You're running for your life. Then when you outrun the woolly mammoth and you're behind a rock and you grab the berries and you catch a nap, boom, testosterone shoots up because it's rest and restore and you have to rebuild for the next run. And That's how quickly do you think that primitive. occurs in humans? How quickly? Yeah, how quickly oh, can I think that? Days, easily. We love acute stress. All species love acute stress, right? We love that starvation, intermittent fasting. It's really healthy, but not low level chronic stress, not connected to your computer, not your emails, not the workday that never ends. Terrible for us. 